such a quick hold. I think we've already covered this, but we're going to just jump through this again. So we open a new part. We left click on the front sketch plane and we hit that little uh, actually I was told I run through stuff a little too fast so let's slow down uh, we're gonna left click on the front left click on the sketch plane we've opened a sketch plane now on our front plane so we want to make a couple of holes and maybe a block or something so I'm gonna left click a rectangle a rectangle with the center point click they didn't have these in the earlier versions of SolidWorks and I enjoy having a center selection very much because now the center point I always know the center point of this particular component is in fact the absolute center of my piece of geometry no matter what dimensions I I put on it so we're gonna just throw some dimensions on it just to get used to seeing now one thing that I haven't talked about is let's uh, control Z and undo undo okay now this line is black and that means it's fully defined it has all the relationships necessary SolidWorks understands exactly what it's about this one and this one are not fully defined and we can define them by adding uh, an additional dimension once we add this you can see that they've turned black this particular piece of geometry is now considered fully defined okay now there are a couple of ways to to add holes we can add them um, we can add them while we're sketching and we can also add them here with the whole wizard at our feature our feature manager now we just want to jump back and let's go back and edit our uh, sketch so I'm going to left click and grab a center position circle and use some of our reference geometry so anywhere along here I can see that um, a relational option is available upon clicking and that one's gonna call that one's called coincidence so once I land somewhere on that line with a coincidence relationship as you can see I can drag it along that particular reference because it has a relationship on it that's going to be invaluable when you start uh, start designing stuff um, so we can go ahead and do it to this guy we can put one here and we can put one here well I'd like them all to be the same so I'm going to dimension one the first one I did it doesn't have to be the first one I did but just seems to be convenient I'm gonna say make this a half inch hole okay I'm going to left click on that one hold the control button down left click on this one left click on this one and left click on this one up come the potential relationships I can choose one thing I want to choose is I want to say make all of them equal to my first one this is a huge time saver watch what happens boom they're all now half inch holes okay albeit we didn't line them up but we don't need to for this particular video alright hope you enjoyed this one hope it makes some sense and we'll see you in the next one